Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I will show you the easiest way to create a rich member dossier and the minimum information that you need to do it. If you are a member of a joint submission, your substance is defined by one composition and you don't intend to opt out and provide your own study records or study summaries, this is the fastest way to create your dossier. Let's start. The first thing to do is to access the joint submission of the substance you want to register. From the joint submission page, you can start the dossier creation by clicking on Create and Submit Online on the top of the page. This page is a summary of the conditions you need to fulfill in order to create a dossier online. Once you have read the conditions and are certain that you fulfill them, click Yes, I want to prepare an online dossier. The creation of the dossier is divided in several steps that you can see displayed at the top of the screen. You are not allowed to proceed from one step to the next one until you have completed the required information. If you need help to fill the information of each step, click on the Help icon. You can change the language of the help to your desired official EU language. Let's start with the creation of the dossier by completing the information of the main constituents step. You need to select the appropriate type of substance, either a well-defined substance, which means monoconstituent or multiconstituent, or a UBCV. This information cannot be bonified once you have moved to the next step of the wizard. As shown in the highlight message on the top of the page, you need to provide the molecular formula, molecular weight, and structural formula of the substance. As you can see, the highlighted message has now disappeared. You can now continue to the next step. This step is an overview of the substance information we provide in the previous step. If you don't have any further information, you can continue to the next step. As you can see by the highlighted messages, you need to provide analytical information to cover at least one quantification and one identification approach. Let's do it then. When creating a record, you will be informed which information you need to fill in. Here, you need to provide as an attachment either the methods or results of the analysis. If a result was not determined, you need to provide a justification. We are down here, so we can continue to the next step. In the substance composition step, you need to provide the degree of purity of the substance in this composition and the concentration range of each constituent. In this case, the degree of purity is 98 to 100% in weight. You can indicate the concentration in other units as well. Now, you just need to indicate the concentration range for each constituent.
If you have stabilizers or impurities, you need to indicate them as well. In our example, the substance has an impurity, water. You can find the substance by start typing its substance name, EC or CAS number. You also need to provide the concentration range. If you need to add an impurity, just click on the plus symbol. We are ready here, so we can proceed to the next step. In the supply chain step, you need to indicate the role in the supply chain, your role in the supply chain. Let's select manufacturer. Manufacturers need to indicate the site or sites where the substance is produced. To do so, you need to create a site. Click on the plus sign and then on the arrow. You will be able then to provide your own details. You have to give your site a name, provide the address of the site. Once you save the information, we are ready to go to the next step. In the administrative information, you need to provide at least one tonnage band and the facing status of the substance. Here, you can also claim fee waiver in case you are registering 1 to 10 tons and if your substance is not fulfilling the Annex 3 criteria. And your joint submission covers the full Annex 7 information requirements. We move to the next step. If you agree with the classification provided by the lead, then you can continue to the next step. Otherwise, you need to opt out, provide a justification for opting out, and provide your own classification. In this example, we agree on the classification provided by the lead. So let's move on to filling in the uses section. In this section, you need to provide a brief general description of your substance's identified uses. You should report the uses for the corresponding life cycle stage of your, man or of your substance. The manufacturer use only if your role in the supply chain is manufacturer, formulation or repacking uses, uses at industrial site, widespread uses by professional workers, consumer uses, and service life. At least one use other than manufacturer or a justification for not reporting any uses has to be provided. Let's start indicating the manufacturer uses. When creating the record of the manufacturer uses, you can see another message indicating what you need to provide. You need to provide at least one contributing activity technique for the environment and one contributing activity technique for the workers. Each of the contributing activities must be described with the appropriate environmental release category and process category codes. You must indicate a use description for all uses. So let's start filling all this information. Start by giving name to the manufacturer. You have to provide one contributing activity technique for the environment. Then, indicate the name of the activity. In this example, manufacture in contained system, no water involved. And provide the environmental release category. Remember always to indicate your own uses. If you need to indicate more contributing activities technique for the environment, you can create more records by clicking on the plus sign. Let's provide one contributing activity technique for the workers now. You then indicate the name of the activity, which is now called transfer of substance from the vessel into smaller containers and provide the process category. In this case, we are using PROC 8B. As before, 
If you need to indicate more contributing activities techniques for workers, you can create more records. To complete the manufacturer uses, you just need to indicate the site linked to this use. Remember that the site was created in a previous step. Once you click in Save, you can see that still you need to indicate at least one use other than manufacture. In this example, let's indicate the uses at industrial sites. Once again, when you create this new record, you can see the information that you need to provide, the technical function of the substance during use and subsequent service life relevant to this use must be filled. You also need to indicate at least one contributing activity technique for the environment and one contributing activity technique for workers. Each contributing activity must be described with the appropriate environmental release category and the process category codes. So let's start filling this information. First thing to do is to give the use a name. Then continue by creating a record to indicate the contributing activity technique for the environment. In this section, you need to indicate the name of activity technique and the environmental release category. Let's then create a record for the contributing activity technique for the workers. Once again, you need to name the activity technique and indicate a process category. In this case, we will use transfer of products with manual coupling and as PROG, we will use 8B. Once we say we can continue, you need to indicate the function of the substance during use. In this example, we will use it as a surfactant. You also need to indicate the subsequent service life relevant for this use. In our case, we will choose no, because the substance will not be part of any article. Other information like the product category used and the sector of end use is not compulsory, but as always when creating a dossier, you should indicate as much information as you have available. Depending on your situation, you will need to indicate uses in the other sections. Just follow the instructions provided in the application to complete each of the sections. As you have seen already, it is pretty simple to complete each use. So let's move on to the next step, uses advised against. If you have identified uses advised against, you should add a record for each use advised against in the corresponding life cycle stage subsections. The way to indicate the uses is the same as to indicate the uses, so in this exercise, let's skip this section and move, the, move to the next one. In the use information step, you need to provide at least the estimated quantities for one year. For phasing substances, it is advisable to indicate the estimated quantities for the last three years. So let's do that then. You can now continue to the assessment report section. In a joint submission, the members can agree that the lead registrant will submit a joint guidance on safe use and a joint chemical safety report on behalf of the joint submission members. The PBT assessment should be the submitted by the lead registrant on behalf of the members unless the chemical safety report is not submitted jointly by the lead. In the latter ca case, its member should provide its own PBT assessment together with its chemical safety report in this step. In our case, the member has agreed with the lead that he should submit 
the chemical safety report and the guidance on safe use. So that is why it is possible to continue without adding that information. If you have not agreed that the lead will provide the chemical safety report or the guidance on safe use, you will need to provide that information yourself and make sure that the chemical safety report is referred to your company, is related to the composition of your own substance, includes tonnage information in case your company has the role of manufacturer and reflect your own uses. You also will need to provide your own PBT assessment every time you add your own chemical safety report. When providing your own guidance on safe use, make sure that you fill all the necessary information. Click on the help icon at the top right of the page to read more on the information you require to submit. Let's move on to the confidentiality claim section. There are certain sections of your registration that are eligible to be kept confidential, confidential upon request. If you wish ECA not to publish such information on, your, on our dissemination website, you should indicate it in this step. For each item that you would like to claim confidential, you should indicate a confidentiality flag and provide a justification to keep the information confidential. The justifications will be assessed by ECA and where the justification is accepted as valid, the information concerned will not be published. Be aware that in case you claim some sections confidential, you might need to pay a fee. In our case, the members does not want to claim anything confidential so we can continue to the next step. In this step, you can review the information that you have indicated. You can also navigate to the different sections that have been completed if you prefer. If the information displayed is correct, then continue. In this step, you need to check that your billing address and your company size are correct. If they are not, update the information. The last thing to do is to indicate a contact person for this submission. If the contact person is not in the list, you can create a new one by clicking on Create and Assign a New Contact. You can now continue to the confirmation step. Once you have reviewed the information on the confirmation step, click the button to submit the dossier to ECA. You will now see the preliminary submission number assigned to your dossier. If you click on it, you will be taken to the submission report page where you will be able to follow the progress of your dossier submission. Make sure that you regularly access the tasks section of Reach IT. There you will receive the invoice to be paid for your registration, potential update requests, and other important information. Now you know how to create a dossier online in Reach IT.